How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Update 7 is now live and working on Forza Horizon 4. We have now unlocked the ability to play the new feature called, F uh, I literally said future playlist then, Festival Playlist, along with other features as well like the Showcase Remix and so on and so on. Well, I have spent this afternoon learning how the new Festival Playlist works and along with that I have unlocked the brand new 2018 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5 which can be upgraded at a cost of about 100,000 credits up to 1,860 something horsepower which is unbelievable. So in today's video I'm going to explain to you how you can unlock this car through the festival playlist and the fastest way to do it because I have managed to learn and write down all the percentages of every race so you can figure out which races to do to get this car the quickest. If you go to the new festival playlist button in the Horizon 4 menu, on this screen you will have a bunch of different things. You'll have the Forzathon challenges, you'll have all the championships, the trials, the seasonal stuff and so on and so on, but you'll also see a percentage sign and for the Horizon summer season, once you get to 50% complete, you will unlock the Ford Mustang that this video is technically about. And for 100% complete, you complete the Porsche. And you have a total of one week to do this seasonal summer event thing. Now on the right hand side, you will see the weekly Forzathon challenge, the daily Forzathon challenges, the trial events, the showcase remix, which is a new thing, the seasonal playground games, seasonal PR stunts, and all the seasonal events all of these count towards your 100% for summer. So if you want to get 100% this summer, you need to complete the weekly challenge, all the daily ones and all the trials and everything. But we only need 50%, so we only need to do some of the things that are on this list. Now obviously, as you complete one of these things of your choice, so let's say you want to do the seasonal PR stunt, if you do that, it'll drop the percentage up a little bit. It will give you a bit of percentage towards the 100, but we only need 50. To actually do the challenges, you have to click on them and it will show you on the map where you need to drive to, to go into, and it will tell you how good you have to do. If it's a PR stunt, it will tell you the score you need to get, but just click on them and that's how you actually make progress into doing them. So as I said, what I spent the afternoon doing is calculating what each challenge gives you percentage-wise, so you're going to be able to figure out yourself which ones you want to do to get to 50% to unlock the Mustang. So I'm going to tell you what these percentages are in a minute and then choose which ones you want to do to get up to 50. Now the weekly Forzathon challenge is here and the weekly Forzathon challenge is worth 15%. So if you complete this, you'll go straight up to 15% complete. This week's weekly Forzathon challenge is done in the Bath. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's done in this little car here. If you fully upgrade it, you can easily complete all four challenges to complete the weekly one and that'll give you 15%. And then you need to choose what other races to do to get the extra 35% left. All of the daily challenges are worth 1% each. Now, this means that you can't actually get 100% complete until the end of the week um, because we can't unlock the rest of the daily challenges yet. But if you complete today's daily challenge, that'll give you a measly 1%. But weekly and the daily, that'll put you up to 16% complete. And then over to the right, you have three seasonal PR stunts called Hilltop Vista, Queen's Drive and Something Hill. Each seasonal PR stunt you do is worth 6%. So if you complete all three seasonal PR stunts, which are all very easy by the way, you'll get 18% for all three of them. Total that up and you'll be at 34% and you wouldn't have had to do any races yet apart from for the weekly challenge. And you'll already be at 34% done and you need to get to 50 for the Mustang. One of the PR stunts is a danger sign down at the bottom left of the map. You need 190 metres, I think. Um, I recommend doing it in an off-road car of some sort, like the Porsche Rally. That's very good for it. The other two are speed traps and speed zones up in the city. I recommend doing both of these in the Mosler. Also very easy. And as I say, once you've done all of those, 18% already done, and you wouldn't have had to do any races. Then there are three seasonal events, Midnight Madness, Edinburgh Muscle, and Summer Buggy Bash. Each one of these seasonal events is actually a championship of a total of three races each. So each one of these seasonal events 
equals three races. So it's quite a lot of work and you only get 6% per seasonal event you do. I only did one, as you can see, I did Edinburgh Muscle, which gave me an extra 6%. So if you want to do three championships to get another 18, you can, but it just takes ages. What I would recommend is doing the Showcase Remix, as you can see here. The Showcase Remix also only gives you 6%, but it's only one race. So the Showcase Remix is worth 6%. If you do that, you'll be up to 40, and then you only need 10. The ones that are left are these seasonal playground games, which puts you in an online lobby with loads of players and you get to play playground games together. You don't have to win, you get the percentage either way. This is also worth 6%, so that would put you up to 46% if you do that as well. Now everything I've told you so far adds up to 70%. This includes everything apart from the one that I didn't mention, which is the trial. Now there are only two other things that are left on this list. One of them is the trial and the other one is right at the end which is the online adventure. Now the trial is a co-op championship which is online which I don't like doing which is why I don't know the percentage that the trial gives you. At the end there is the online adventure thing where you have to qualify to complete this as well and I'm presuming that both the online adventure and the trial thing will add up to 30% which is left but we need we only need 50% so we don't need that extra 30 but if you're wondering where the 100% comes in you have to do the online adventure thing and qualify to complete it and you also have to do the trial but everything I've showed you so far is all offline and you can do on your own apart from the playground games but that's just all fun anyway so what I'm trying to say is everything that I've told you percentage wise is what I recommend you do I wouldn't recommend doing the trial and I wouldn't recommend doing that online adventure thing because it's going to be quite difficult, it's online, you are going to get a fair amount of percentage for it, up to 30 by the looks of it, but I wouldn't bother. So you need 50% for the Mustang. So now we know all the percentages, these are the ones I recommend you do to get just over 50% to unlock the Mustang. I recommend you do the weekly Forzathon for 15%. Then I recommend you do all three of these seasonal PR stunts for an extra 18%. Then I'll get you up to 33. Then I recommend you do the Showcase Remix. That'll put you up to 39. Then I recommend you do the Seasonal Playground Games, which is online, but it's just fun anyway. You don't have to win. It's just Playground Games. Then I'll get you to 45 and then I recommend just doing one of the seasonal events for 6% and then I'll get you up to 51% and in the progress you'll probably do the daily challenge as well which will get you to 52 but then you have all the other seasonal events to do, the trial, the adventure but you don't need to do those, we've skipped those to get to the Mustang so that's what I recommend you do. Now, as I said, if you're looking to get the Porsche which is 100% complete, you'll obviously have to do everything anyway but that does mean you have to wait till the ne end of next week because you have to do the daily challenge every day to get that last 1% to get up there. I know this has been very faffy to talk about, but festival playlist is going to take a little bit for some of you to get your heads around and I hope this is completely put it into your heads how this new festival remix thing works. Now, obviously, I'm going to show you the Ford Mustang now, which comes stock at about, I can't remember now, is it four or 500 horsepower? So not much. But if you go to the engine swap, there is a V8 engine you can put into it, which will bump it straight up to 1,000 horsepower. And then with some upgrades with twin turbos and stuff like that, not only will you go over 1,000 horsepower, you'll get close to 2,000 horsepower. It will total at just under 1,900 horsepower at 1,876 brake horsepower in the 7.2 litre V8. I'm gonna leave some gameplay of the Ford Mustang on screen right now, but this thing is absolutely unbelievable. Rear wheel drive, it has 10 gears. You can't really put many of them to use and you need to kind of increase your final drive to control it anyway. But the acceleration is just blistering and it has a top speed of about 270 something miles an hour as well, so that's pretty impressive. But if you decide to put an all-wheel drive train swap in it, it will go to six gear speed box. Then it has some massive grip. I think this will be on par with the McLaren F1 as one of the fastest accelerating cars in the game. I may do a test on it, but definitely recommend getting this. It's up to 1,876 horsepower, fully upgraded. It's an absolute monster, and I suggest you do this. Out of all the cars that you only have one week to get, this is definitely my favourite one, because look at it. It looks amazing and it sounds amazing and it's ridiculously fast. 
I'm going to leave some gameplay of the Mustang on screen right now for you all to enjoy. Only a couple of minutes. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Get this Mustang while you can. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.